This is chapter 11, lesson 2, which is about probability. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to find a probability of an event using theoretical and experimental probabilities. And then in class, we will do simulation methods. So the formula for finding an experimental probability is the probability of some event, which we would define, is equal to the number of times the event occurs divided by the total number of trials. For example, if we have 60 vehicles in the teacher's parking lot today and 15 of those vehicles are pickup trucks, we could ask the question, what is the experimental probability that a vehicle in the teacher parking lot is a truck? So the event is truck. The number of trucks in the lot is 15, and the total number of trials would be the total number of vehicles, which is 60. 60. So if we divide this, we get 0.25. So the probability that a vehicle is a pickup truck is 0.25, or we could write that 25% or we could leave it as a fraction. Another example, um, a softball player got a hit in 20 of her last 50 times at bat. What is the experimental probability that she will get a hit in her next at bat? So we're looking for the probability of a hit. Hit is our event. The number of hits that she got so far is 20 out of 50 tries. So this would give her an experimental probability of 0.4 or 40% or even two-fifths, if you want to write it as a fraction. Okay, our next topic is theoretical probability. To calculate a theoretical probability, you have to first find the sample space. So the sample space is the collection of all possible outcomes, and that is the denominator to your probability. So at the top here, if a sample space has n equally likely outcomes and it, an event A occurs in m of these outcomes, then the theoretical probability of event A is given by this formula. Probability of event A equals number of outcomes in event A divided by the total number of outcomes in the sample space. So for example, what is the theoretical probability of each event? A, getting a five on one roll of a standard die. So we're looking for the probability of getting a five. Since there is, there are six possible outcomes, and that would be all of the different things that show up on a standard die, and of those six possible outcomes, one of them is a 5, then that means the probability of rolling a 5 is 1 out of 6. Example B, what is the probability of getting a sum of 5 on a roll of 2 standard die? So again, we're looking for 5. Let me just write it like this. A sum of 5, and in the picture over here, all the places where we get a sum of 5 would be right here. Those are the only ways to get a total of 5. And so that's our numerator. There are four possible ways to get 5. The denominator is the entire sample space, so it's each pair of die. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 6 is 36. That's our denominator. So we could reduce this to 1 ninth, or you could turn it into a decimal. For part C, it says, what is the theoretical probability of getting a sum that is an odd number on one roll of two standard number cubes? So we're looking at our picture over here again, looking for the probability that the sum is odd. So in the table, we have this one's odd. That's odd. 5 is odd. 
7 is going to be odd. 9 will be odd. And 11. All the other sums are evens. So we count up the number of events that are odd. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 out of the 36 combinations of two die. So that equals one half, which is 50%. Part D, is it more likely to get an even or an odd number on one roll of a standard number cube? Okay, so for part D, the probability of getting an even would be three out of six. Because when you look at just one set of die right here you got um, two four six so that's three and if we want to know the probability of odd that would be the one three and five there were three odd ones out of six so which is more likely well neither one they're equally likely okay so that's the basics of finding probabilities and in the next video, then, we'll do the more challenging problems.